And if you think about it, the Lord's going to stand before the judge. We're going to stand before the judge and see before the Lord. He's going to say, well, you had time to play this. You had time to do this. You had time to do this. But you just didn't have time for me. And then we're going to say, if only I would have spent more time. If only I would have got rid of some of that every extra stuff. That makes us feel good for a moment. If only I would have done this thing.
children to lead our children through this school year. Give us insight, God, as to what's going on in our children's lives. I pray, God, give us discernment. Give us wisdom. Give us understanding. God, let us speak. Give us good examples to our children. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I lose an anointing right now in every family. I lose an passion right now in every family. Let our homes be godly homes. Let our homes not be a place that they know about prayer, that they know about reading the word of God. Let our homes not be secure so when they go to school, they can be secure in who they are and what they have been called to be. In the name of Jesus Christ, every single child right now, every student right now, God, anointing call. Every student, the anointing change. He toggles shot on my photo. Reaching my son that I will push shot on. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. She told for star of my son. Hallelujah. Amen. Even for the kids that aren't here, your parents are praying for your kids that may not be here. We're praying for them. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. We're praying for Hayden in Jesus' name. Annie, go to school, right? It's already started. Annie, we're praying for her. Amen. If you got family sharing and all that, we're praying. Amen. If you got kids that aren't here, Jacob and all that, we're praying for them. We want God to be with them. They may not be here in the body. Amen. But our prayers go in. It goes far beyond what the four walls of the church and the sound of my voice can go. Our prayers reach into where they are right now and will touch them and change them. Protect them all, Father, in the name of Jesus. Give us growth, God. I pray. Let them win some souls to the Lord. Give our children a boldness to be soul winning machines in Jesus' name. Let them speak good things about church. Let them speak good things about worship. Let them speak good things about you, Jesus. Help them to guard against peer pressure. I find peer pressure in Jesus' name. And the, God, the results of peer pressure. God, when they get tempted to do something and their peers pressure them, God, I pray give them the strength to say no. Give them the strength to say no, God. I want them to be filled with regret one day and say, if only I would have said no. If only I would have listened to my friend. Hallelujah. Come on, teenagers. Listen, you've got to say no. I'm going to say no. I'm not going to have it. If only I wouldn't have smoked that. If only I wouldn't have drank that. If only I wouldn't have given it to my girlfriend. Right now, Father. We love you in this house. Would you lift your hands one more time? Is there anybody that wants to get prayed for before you leave? Is there anybody that wants to repent of your sin before you leave? Is there anybody that wants to get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins before you leave? We've got water, we've got clothes. The Holy Ghost before you leave today. Don't, don't leave and say, If only. If only I would have listened. If only I would have repented. If only I would have been baptized. If only I would have received the Holy Ghost. If only I would have paid my tithes. If only I would have given my homes. If only I would have worshipped. If only I would have been If only. Brother Spike, thank you for the word this morning. Amen. Such a powerful and loving word. Amen. If you weren't here, YouTube it. Amen. YouTube what was spoken on Thursday. I want to tell you this before we dismiss. Just because you're not here when something's preached doesn't mean that you're not accountable for what was preached. Just because you were not here when something is preached doesn't mean that you're not accountable for the words that were spoken while you were gone. If you made the choice not to be here, you're still accountable for the words that are spoken when you are not here. Now, we have this great invention called YouTube. And you can watch our services on there. That is no excuse to miss church. That is no excuse to miss church. Just because you can watch it on YouTube doesn't mean you can stay home in the midweek and not come to church. Doesn't mean that. It means if you're legitimately sick and you cannot move, then you can watch it on YouTube. If you're out of town for work or you have to go on vacation, God bless you, you go on vacation, go on vacation. Then you choose it. Otherwise, be here. Be here. Make the right choice. Make the right choices. Amen. I love you. God bless you. Tuesday prayer at 7 o'clock. 
Amen. We've got powerful prayer meetings. Please come and pray with us Tuesday night at 7. Thursday night Bible study, 7.30. And then God has been speaking to us. God has been challenging us. Amen. Before we go, Sister Kenny, come on up here. Amen. We've got a baptismal certificate. We want to give it to her right now. Amen. Last Sunday, baptized in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We love you. Invite somebody to the house of the Lord. Sister Jennifer, is here tonight? Jennifer, come on up here. She got the Holy Ghost on our children's evangelistic service, July 27th, 2014. Amen. Let's give it You know what I love? Is every children's evangelistic service we've had, we've had at least one get the Holy Ghost. Amen.